on the boat, baby. I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat. So we're going out. You guys saw it in the title, in the thumbnail. We're going to Molokini Crater, my favorite dive spot in the world, Brittany. Did you know that? No, it's I've literally so beautiful. It's so good. So the sun is already rising up over uh, the mountain where Haleakala is. And so I think it's gonna be really epic. I've been out here before. It's been beautiful without the sun. Today we have the sun, so it's even better. Um, and then Brittany is gonna do some amazing diving. The swell doesn't look too bad, so I think it should be really, really good today. We're almost there. You can see us right there. And then if you're wondering about the stuff around us, West, oh my God, I almost dropped my <laughs> West Maui, Maui, Kaho'olawe over there. And uh, yeah, so we're going to Molokini, gonna go dive. So yeah, I'm stoked. I think it's gonna be super sick. Uh, and then it's our last day here, so. Uh, do we wanna see what boat we're on and stuff? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're on Kai Kanani Sailing. Uh, the owner, David, contacted me like years ago and was like, hey, if you ever wanna come out, take some photos, we'd love to have you. And I was like, yeah, of course. Like, I love Molokini, like love to support local. Um, and, and these guys are doing a lot of stuff to help preserve the reef. So we're gonna be talking about that throughout the video. Um, so today you're going to learn about what they're doing to help Molokini, um, like what we do back home to try to help the ocean. They're on a mission to help the ocean here too. So very, very cool. Already saw a reef safe sunscreen um, being put on before we came out. So love that. Uh, do you have anything to add? Nope, I'm ready to get in the water. Yeah, let's go swim. The boat got out here very first, freaking zoomed out here and was like, all right guys, we're hardcore, we're scuba. We're not some lame snorkelers, okay? We're gonna get there early, boat crack of dawn. Before the sun comes up, we got our flashlight. We're gonna go harass some turtles, harass some sharkies, and breathe some bubbles underwater, because we're the coolest. That looks cool. The sun. <laughs> Hey, Brittany, have you looked down yet? No. Oh my gosh, get ready. <laughs> Isn't it so clear? No. Freaking love it here. It's like a different color blue, I feel like. I know. All right, let's go further inside, see what we see.
stop the whole boat so the <laughs> captain could get the shower for her. I want to be itchy. <laughs> I am getting a really great video of the water right now. And <laughs> I got such a great water video there, Britt. Nice. The water on your butt. I'm gonna get a great water photo too. Ooh. I want like want to jump back in so bad. I know. It looks. I want to dive off of this. I know. I wish we could. Like go really. Photo shoot for me, Brittany. This is a full vlog. <laughs> now you're taking cute pics of me on the stairs. All right, guys. So we had fun out there. We saw some amazing fishies, some amazing clarity. Yeah. Now we're enjoying some bevs on the Kai Kanani sailboat. <laughs> oh, I'm so weird. I don't know. We had fun. Yeah, we went to the second spot, but we didn't get in the water because it was just to see turtles and um, you guys know we see turtles all yeah, the time. Yeah, we see sea turtles all the time. So yeah, it was super sick. I talked to them a little bit about what they do to actively uh, preserve Molokini because that was something that we were going to talk about here. Um, and basically what I heard is they do everything they can to be like the best tourists or guests that they can be when they go out there. Um, so they use reef safe sunscreen, they try to get in, get out early so that then they're not like a part of this huge crowd. Um, and then uh, they like are careful about how they do everything. They're smart about how they do everything, uh, but they're not, yeah, yeah. They, they pick up trash if they see it, you know, that kind of thing, the basics. Uh, they told me they're not actively doing anything to like go out of their way to pres preserve it. Um, but then when I talked to one of the uh, boat staff here, Caitlin, uh, she was like, oh, I should bring that up to the owner that I know, Maria, and then I'll bring it up to my point of contact and uh, see if we can help them uh, start to do something so that they're proactively preserving the reef out there. Because I think that's something really important. I think that's something to be proud of that you're doing. Like Brittany picking up the rubber band, you basically saved the I entire mean, yeah, ocean. I the whole planet. <laughs> but um, one really important thing, a lot of people still don't know this about reef safe sunscreen. What is actually reef? Okay, you cannot put it just on me. I just want to be able to hear you. Uh, I'll just make the volume louder. Okay. So what is actually reef safe? Um, I'm gonna put a list of ingredients on the screen right now that are not reef safe and kill the reef. So basically, the only active ingredient in your sunscreen should be zinc oxide or titanium dioxide. If it has other things, it's bad for you, it's bad for the reef, don't use it. Yeah, bad for the whole environment. And by the way, biodegradable cups, don't worry. <laughs> I just okay. realized we're talking about all this conservation stuff and then we're drinking from plastic cups. Biodegradable, don't worry. Compostable. Okay, so we'll see you guys when we're having lunch. Restart. Check it out guys, bamboo fork, love that. Paper cup for the salsa. We love this. Portuguese sausage. Uh, she needs this every day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Potatoes. Egg in cake form. Oh my god. Ew. <laughs> so when we got here, they were like, don't worry, the person parked behind you. Okay, so we're trying to leave. They told us that we wouldn't be parked in even though we double parked. And the only person still in the lot, like you guys saw, is the car behind us. And they were the most annoying people on the boat. So we'll be able to get out. I'll just ear, 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 to get out. But it's just ironic that the annoying people on the boat, like, like literally sat next to touching Brittany. Like during COVID, like there was a whole another There's bench. an entire boat to sit on. And they sat next to Brittany. It was at less than half of their COVID capacity, which is half of normal capacity. Yeah. What the I heck? Was moved. I was like, okay. All right. So we're out of here. We're going to go get some lunch. Look at this dank food. It literally looks like a Crunchwrap Supreme, but it's vegan. And you can actually get vegan from Taco Bell, but as you can see by the fancy yeah. water, uh, we're at this uh, vegan cafe. It's my friend's place, Sprout Vegan Cafe here in Wailea. Um, this is a Cali burrito, no meat inside, which for me is kind of a bummer. I like the meats. Um, I think this looks really good. I don't but, like the meats. But so. it looks good, I'll try it out. It's gonna be a little squishy. 
Um, but it, a little squishy. It looks good. One of the big things here that I've noticed on their Instagram is they talk about how all of their ingredients come from like local farm fresh places. And then if they can't get it, they just don't serve it. So I think that's really cool. Um, Cause that's like an important thing for eating sustainably is getting local stuff. Cause if you're like supporting local, but then they just get everything from Costco, you're only supporting one person in the supply chain versus this is like everyone in the supply chain. So that's super cool. So let's dig in. Yeah. Okay. Brittany took a bite of my burrito. Good. good? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna try it out. Yeah, you can have the weird vegan cheese. It looks like mustard, guys. Not weird. Oh, she dipping and gripping <laughs> and ripping and slipping. Okay guys, we did not vlog any of the rest of the day. <laughs> we hung out with some friends, so it's like kind of weird to vlog. Um, but so we met one girl and we hung out at our house. We went on a cool nature walk. That was so really cool. fun. And then we met up with the girl, the girl uh, who let us borrow her car and we went diving with them. The water was murky. Cool yeah, they showed us cool stuff, but the water conditions just weren't good. So we didn't really video any of it because I was like waiting for it to get better and it just didn't, the clarity. Um, and then we hung out on the beach for a little, like packed up some of our stuff. And then uh, we went to dinner with the same girl that, uh, her name's Anna. So we got dinner with them just now and then she drove us to the airport and now here we are at the airport. We got here with like... So much time to spare. No, it was like the... The latest I've ever gotten to the airport, like 40 minutes till our flight. Okay, so we got here five minutes before bo boarding. Plenty of time. But if security was happened to be long, <laughs> yeah. we would have been screwed. Super screwed. And it's the last flight, so we would have been sleeping in Maui. And I miss my kitty cat. I gotta go home. Yeah, I miss video games. <laughs> so tomorrow we're not gonna vlog and I'm gonna edit. And this is the end of our Maui vlog. So if you guys liked them, make smash. sure you... Smash. And let us know what island you want us... Smash. So come on, let's finish it first. Let us know what island you want us to go to next. I really want to go to Kauai. Um, leave a comment down below of that. I'm sorry that we look so ugly right now. <laughs> I thought we looked beautiful. <laughs> okay. Um, that's, that's all the stuff we saw. Bye.